Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming. Thank you for joining us on today's video. Today's video is a historical video and say, well, Tony, you look at a lot of historical cars and isn't that kind of what you do for a living? Yes. However, I've never had anything like this right here. C4 Corvette, right? 2,816 miles today on this car. One owner since new. Uh, we spoke a lot, he and I did. It took uh, a year, a year for him to decide between finally parting with it and finally parting with it, meaning he parted with it mentally, but physically couldn't do it. So it took a year of talking and things like that. And in the world of these cars, these cars are now starting to go up in value. And so what cars will they use to restore the cars? You always have to have a car, an original car, to restore the other cars so you can restore them back to NCRS, right? Uh, qualifications, this is the car that they will use, right? It's almost all original. I say all original. Uh, I use the word almost because I'm sure somewhere along the line, a battery was replaced or something, uh, a windshield wiper blade, that's it. However, as we walk around the car, uh, the date codes on the tires appear to be 1984. So that means that there's 1984 air still in the tires. You want to know what the air quality was like in 1984? Take a hit off the valve stem there and you will know for sure. All right, so when you're looking at original 1984 paint, this is 2021 that we're looking at this video. Uh, I think to myself, man, this car is approaching 40 years old, 40 years old with 2000 miles on it, right? Uh, and the paint quality is still showroom new. We're looking at it under these harsh lights right here and be able to see some of uh, the original things that are on here. Check out the quality of this paint. It's still amazing. All right, so let's take a peek under here. You'll be very surprised at how fast this car is. Uh, they, believe it or not, they don't weigh a lot. They are in the 3,300 pound range, which is Porsche 911 weight. Um, and these make a lot more power than they were really advertised as. The overdrive automatic uh, makes for a great shift. And although the car is fast and handles incredibly well, that's not really why I wanted to show you under here. What I wanted to show you under here is the authenticity of this car. So we're looking at like the original brake booster from uh, from Gerlach here. And we're looking at a lot of the decals that are still in place that you can't buy anymore, right? You can't buy these decals uh, and and because they're just not available. They were the original ones from the car. And that's the kind of authenticity that we're looking for. And let's look in here at original tires. Uh, I just look around, I go, wow, this is an incredible piece of history. How did this guy take care of this car for so long? And uh, I wonder, I don't think I could ever do that. And I think the fact that you could go to a car show knowing the fact that there'll be no other C4 in the world, right? With lower mileage than this car, the likelihood of running into it would be very slim. And I think it'd be pretty cool just to own something like this. All right, so in the world of sports cars, things like that, this has the lift off roof panel, which gives you kind of the best of both worlds convertible, but you get the safety of the roll hoop as well. Or this comes out, you can throw some golf bags in there, um, soft luggage to go away for the weekend. This has the upgraded sound system, which has uh, the sound system buried back there. I don't know, man, it's just a cool car. We look at all of the originality of it, like uh, Motor Trend 1984 Car of the Year, sticker still in the glass, right? You can't buy that sticker. That sticker right there is originally done at the factory in Bowling Green when they built them and put them on these cars because this car was a world-class car. Remember, 1984, the car before it was, uh, was archaic compared to the suspension and the handling and the power that these cars eventually developed. All right, so some telltale signs of an 84 that are different than all of the other uh, C4 Corvettes. The exhaust tips point down. All the other cars the next year, they came out the back. The center caps of the wheels are painted black, right? Little touches like that to identify uh, a first year car. First year cars are usually uh, the most valuable, first and last year cars. And then when you have a first year car uh, with ridiculously low mileage like that, it's pretty amazing. All right, so come join me in here because one of the things that's important to people is whether you fit inside a car. So I'm 6'1", and they've made a great effort to give you all of the things to make this a driver's car. Remember, this is an, a game-changing car. This was one of the most exotic sports cars for 1984. Quite honestly, uh, it beat so many other supercars out there that the supercars had to go reinvent themselves. This one in particular having 2,816 miles on it, which I just, I, I can't even fathom the idea, has a lot of great options as well. So these cars came as base cars with cloth seats, uh, regular gauges, not the top end stereo. This has things like the power seat, uh, the upgraded uh, Delco sound system. This has the digital dash with all of the gauges here uh, with a 6,000 RPM tack and 
you know, it's, uh, it's a piece of history. And we're sitting inside a piece of history. We're talking about a 2,000 mile car that's almost 40 years old, almost 40 years old. Uh, it belongs in a museum. And I think if you could get it out, take it to a car show once in a while, it would love the exercise. It would really enjoy the next enthusiast to, uh, to enjoy that. So anyway, power windows, it goes on and on. What an awesome, awesome, uh, beautifully kept interior. All right, so we close up the video of this car. We're talking about we're talking about a piece of history, right? First year groundbreaking car, right? This was a game changer for Corvette. Remember that underneath a Corvette from 1963 all the way to 1982 was the same. Most people don't know that. This right here was the biggest change since the new mid-engine Corvette came out, right? That's how much different it is. Here we have a one owner car, uh, almost all original almost all original down to every last nut, bolt, and what have you, and 2,816 original miles. You've got to be kidding me, man. Anyway, it's just a cool piece of history. I love this car. It's got incredible documentation with it from window stickers and books and manuals and two sets of keys. And like, it'll be your job. It'll be your job to take this car uh, and enjoy it as well and carry on the tradition of that. All right. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. If you don't mind, uh, share this video with some friends would like it as well, and subscribe to our channel. We'll send you some great videos, and let's go for a test drive and hear uh, the rumble.